What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time it's two great matchups. It's the Barrett Jackson Premium Cornuba Pace Wax versus the Grills Garage Best of Show Cornuba Pace Wax. Okay? Now, the Barrett Jackson retail me, I think it was like $16 on Amazon. Free shipping. And the Grills Garage is going to run you like $25.99. Now it's $26 on Amazon, guys. So you're talking about a $10 difference here in price. Okay. Now, the Barrett Jackson is 11 ounce. The Grills Garage is a 9.5 ounce. So you're talking to Barrett Jackson actually giving you more product also okay so here i apply them on the powder here and i'm just kind of letting them cure you guys can see them wax is there and they're just curing out on this panel okay y'all about to get up on these paste waxes man y'all want to make that paint pop and save that um paint protect your paint um me personally, I recommend paste waxes over liquor waxes, you know. I guess it's just everybody's preference, you know. That's just my preference. I know everybody got a favorite wax that they love. Me personally, my favorite wax is the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. The Black Can, guys. Uh, that's actually my favorite wax, but that's not a carnauba wax. That's a synthetic sealant wax. See, it's a difference from these. But um, these Carnival waxes said it give you a little shine and glow. But the true shine comes from when you polish your vehicle. These are just for short-term protection. These probably give it a little glow because they have Carnival oils in them. Oils might give it a little reflection. That's all that is. But a true shine comes from when you polish the paint. And put it in focus like a camera lens. When you polish the paint to a perfection, that's where your true shine comes from. Okay. Even the these carnauba waxes, like I said, they got carnauba oils in them, which is probably giving some shine and glow. But the true, these really don't do nothing but protect your paint still. They just don't protect your paint as long as the synthetic wax does, you know. So, but these are some great products. Uh, as you can know, it's pretty pricey. Now, I always thought the grill one is a little bit higher than it should have been. I would say that best for show sure right there. It shouldn't have been no more about $15.99, you know. <laughs> I charged $26 for it. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of things I will admit, I don't care. I ain't supporting none of these companies or nothing. No way. You know, I'm supporting myself. I give y'all my take on these waxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's up to y'all to go buy them or whatever. But I'll tell you whether they're good or not. But me personally, like I was about to say, a lot of these products and stuff is overpriced. I will admit. I ain't going to stand up for all these companies and sit here and tell you, oh, it's well worth $26. Or, oh, it's well worth $35. You know? Uh, a lot of stuff that I buy, I always, some of it I think really is overpriced. You know, that's my take on it. Got to keep it real in the field for you guys. Y'all know me, I keep it real. I ain't going to try to sell you nothing. I ain't going to tell you no lies. I ain't going to sell you no rags and microfiber cloths. I tell you guys where to get them cheap from. I ain't going to try to sell you guys nothing. You know. I tell you guys where to get stuff cheap. Microfiber cloth is all over Amazon. Cheap. They're all in Walmart. Cheap. You know. So you don't need me to say no microfiber cloths because they're everywhere. Look on Amazon. It's a ton of them up there, guys. Check out my Amazon microfiber cloths. All right. So um, they have dry, the, the dry waffle weed and all this stuff. I mean, Amazon got it all. So, hey, <laughs> I don't think I can get all you, my subscribers. 
It's good quality videos telling you about these products and my take. So I keep it real, guys. You know, I ain't going to try to sell y'all nothing. Nope. I don't support none of these companies or none of that crap. You know what I'm saying? They don't give me nothing. I buy into the products and let give you guys my take on them. I never had a company send me nothing free. <laughs> Amazon is where I do all my shopping. Okay, this is the cured. And I give it a few more minutes. Yeah, guys, you got some guys out here on the internet trying to come out with their own products, trying to sell their own rags and all that kind of stuff. I ain't like that. So I'm going to tell you where to get the cheapest rag from, like a Dollar Tree microfiber cloth or something like that. I'll tell you about it. Amazon microfiber cloths, as I did a previous video, I told you guys about those. I got some more to share with you guys that I picked up cheap, that I think is super soft, that I'm going to tell you guys about those. So I got stuff, you know, I got a lot of things to tell you guys, man, about rags and stuff, because I just picked up on some more, and uh, I ain't going to try to say you nothing. I'm just going to educate you on what I, my take on some of these products out here. All right, so first what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to buff off the Barrett Jackson because it seems to dry it up first. Let's buff it off here. That Barrett Jackson is a little bit stiff coming off. So I'm going to tell you guys now you're going to have to put a little elbow grease and getting this one off but uh it works good it really shines the paint and stuff real good guys real good okay had to have my totally awesome on point guys because that's why i do my wipe downs with i make sure everything off the panel before i start a fresh video you know so i can give you guys accurate testing Believe it or not, the total awesome take waxes all better than the um than the alcohol do. Okay, a lot of you probably didn't know that, but total awesome will take it all off, undiluted. <laughs> okay, that's what I use. Don't hurt the paint or nothing either. Okay, that's all off. We're just gonna do one coat. Now we're gonna see if this stuff cured out in here. We're gonna buff. Yeah, it's cured pretty good now. Let's get a different microfiber. I'm going to buff off the grills. Here we go. Now, the good thing about the grills, it's easy to work with, guys. It comes off like butter. That's one, that's one reason I like this wax. See how easy it comes off the panel? That's one reason I really like it so good. Because it's so easy to work with. But for us price wise. I still going to admit it's a bit pricey. But it's easy to work with wax. Okay slide it out of the way. We'll get up under it. Okay. Comes off like butter. And when a wax come off like that. That's a good quality wax like that man. Who, don't, who wants a wax killing their arms? I guess you might want to say. <laughs> you can see the shine and depth there from the two carnival waxes. They both is all off. Okay. Hood looking all good. I'll tell you, man. Um, I really must say, for a 20-year-old hood, man, this thing really does look good for to be 20 years old. Uh... Somebody see this hood, they can't complain. I said, well, hey, man, this hood is 20 years old. I mean, it's looking this good. <laughs> see that? It's got a nice shine and depth to it. The paint is not bad on it at all. See that? Got a nice shine and glow. Besides, it got a few, it's got a few little nicks and dings in it. You know, what you expect, you know, this hood is 20 years old, you know. But, Overall, for the most part, it's, it's, it's pretty in good condition. Consider how old it is. See here? It's got a good clear coat on it. 
and everything. 20 years old hood, guys. Look at this good. Nice shine. It's a really wet looking shine on this hood. All right, so now, guys, we're going to get into the water test. And we're going to start off with Barrett Jackson, Carnuba Wax. Here we go. All right, that's all we need. I'll like tell you, guys, it doesn't take a whole lot of water. All you want to do is see it swell up off the paint, and that's it. All right, let's move over here to the grills. And here, we got to have a winner, okay? Now, from what I'm saying here, the grill's garage side bees is actually better. The Barry Jackson's kind of laying down there, as you can see. You know, the bees is not as tight. I know you guys can see that pretty good. It's the Barry Jackson side. And look at the grills. Okay? So, being a grill's garage is beating better. But, um, and it's much easier to work with, too, guys. So, price difference there. Um, it's a big price difference. But I'm going to call this a draw. The reason why, because the Barry Jackson is $10 cheaper. And the Grills Garage beat it better. And it's a little, the Grills Garage is much easier to work with. But that $10 price difference is a big difference. See, so I, I, I got the, <laughs> I'm going to call it a draw. I'm not going to call no winner in this one. Okay. Griot's beating water better. True. Griot's is much easier to work with because it comes off like butter. True. Barrett Jackson comes off a little harder. It be fairly decent. And it's also $10 cheaper. So that, they balancing right out, man. So I'm just going to call this one a draw. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And guys, more to come, man. We got to get into some more products, man. Can't wait till that ceramic wax get up in here so we can do some comparisons with that. Alright, guys. Y'all take care. I'll hit y'all on the next video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out of here. Peace.